Okay, this is the first checkpoint. Playtime is officially over, kiddies. Something's wrong. The lights in the guardhouse are out. Um, maybe this has been a wild night of partying for the guards. You know, a little song, a little dance. Stay here, Junior. Leave the guards to me. H hey, did you hear what he just called me? Forget about it. Just let Gail handle this. All right. It's clear. Okay, let's do this. I'll infiltrate the facility and occupy the control room on the first floor. I should have access to all the security systems from there. I'll contact you as soon as I've cleared the room. Let me guess. This is some of your handiwork, right? Brass is still warm. These guards were shooting at something very recently. So who were they fighting? This wasn't much of a fight. I don't think these guards hit anything before getting sliced and diced. Whatever they were shooting at came in through there, ripped right through the steel fence. Well, the hole is nice and clean, but I still say you could have done this. Very funny. We still need to figure out what happened here. Continue to sweep the area. going with that security system. I don't know what's been going on here, but it looks like all the power in this facility has been cut. Same here. As long as that's the situation, there's not a lot I can do. Why don't you see if you can gain access to the backup generators on the ground level? I'm on it. What are you doing here? I caught the last part of your conversation. By the way, I found a key. Hand it over. Let's head outside. Disgusting. This guy's been eviscerated. Something tore his intestines straight out. Look at those tooth marks. It had to be some sort of animal. Okay, let's move on.
good news. I got the control system back online. What's the situation over there? It's Gale. I lost him. <laughs> so what's the bad news? Did you run into some guards? You're not gonna believe this. He was attacked by some kind of dinosaur. This isn't a joke, you idiot. We were just attacked by a big-ass lizard. For real? What's going on over there? Uh, all right. Head over to the control room and we'll sort out this whole situation. What's our status? This security system is a snap for me. Real amateur stuff. So, what exactly happened to Gale? You said that he was attacked by a dinosaur? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I just hope he's still alive. Anyway, our first priority is to complete the mission. What we ought to do is just call in the chopper and get off this death trap. That's a great idea, but Cooper has the radio, and he's missing. Hey, what's with this monitor? That's the security monitor for the underground area. The camera's offline. So I take it that means power still hasn't been restored to the area? Exactly. They must have that area wired to a different power system than the ground level. Well, we can investigate that area after we finished our sweep of the ground level. Okay, then I'll take care of the shutters that are blocking the way. You work your way in, grab the dock, and then rendezvous back here. Yeah. Now what I want to know is where those things are coming from. Regina, I took care of the shutter. You should be able to access the control panel now. Already? That was quick. Thanks. Hey girl, just get going.
A survivor? Are you from the rescue team? Uh, I... Yes, yes I am. Do you know where I can find Dr. Kirk? Kirk? That fool. What's he plotting now? What are you talking about? Here. Take this. What's this for? I, I don't know. You told me. Extremely vital. <laughs> I've unlocked the shutters near the entrance. One more thing. I just caught a glimpse of something on the monitor that looked human. It should be somewhere near the front of the training room. So, check there first. <laughs> no lizard. It's a dinosaur. Dinosaur? Look, something's really wrong with this place. This whole mission has gone sour. Hey, it's always eat or be eaten out in the battlefield. No matter who or what you're up against. Any word on the dock yet? I've got to hook up with Rick again. My radio's dead and he's the only one who can fix it.
What's the emergency? Gail just told me he saw someone on the underground monitor. It flashed by pretty quick, but I'm sure I saw something. Rick, open the shutter to the underground area. What is it? It's a distress signal from one of our team members. It must be Cooper. Yeah, or it might be Tom. He infiltrated this facility posing as one of the researchers. Can you pinpoint the signal? It's coming from outside of the building. To the east of the rear entrance we came in from. Look, we'll deal with it later. Our first priority is the survivor in the underground. It could be the doc. What are you talking about? He's asking for our help. We don't leave our own behind. And what if it's a trap? Would you want one of us to come and rescue you? Don't bother. I'm willing to take that risk. Remember our mission. We're not here to babysit. That's your way of operating, not mine. All right. You have your access to the underground, Gale. So get moving. You handle your things your way, I'll handle my things my way. <laughs> really starting to get on my nerves. Regina, I'm heading out to investigate the underground.
came out of nowhere. Didn't have a chance. Tom, can you tell us what's going on here? Kirk's insane. His experiments have nothing to do with energy development. Uh, Tom! Here, take this. His wounds are pretty bad. We have to move him someplace safe immediately. access to the elevator outside. Good. Now we can head straight down to the underground. So you saw the beast, right? Yeah. Pteranodon, wasn't it? I meant you saw that it was a real dinosaur. It's unbelievable. Didn't I tell you? This is just like that movie. Regina, we have to hurry. Tom's not going to last much longer. I'll clear a path by moving these containers. You just keep an eye on Tom.
Will do. Concentrate on the mission and leave the rest to me. Right. Oh yeah. If Gil gives you any more of his bull, be sure to beat him down for me. Okay? He's dead. It's not your fault. Yeah. I'll be in the control room.
Regina? I finally made it to the entrance of the doctor's lab. Good work. The door looks like it needs two people working in tandem to unlock it. Sit tight. I'll be right there. So, what's our status? Here, take this. Ready? Okay, on three. One, two, three. He's not here. Why? This operation is taking way too long already. Warning. The emergency system has been activated. Emergency lockdown in progress. What's going on? Oh, Kirk must have tripped off the security system. I'm a fool. What's your status, Regina? I'm reading an emergency lockdown in your section. We're trapped inside here. Kirk must have triggered it off. We didn't touch anything. Can you clear it? I'll see what I can do. What's wrong with this thing? Cool it, Gale. We'll find a way out somehow. 
We'd better get moving. We've bypassed the door lock and we're on our way out. That's great. But the entire underground area is crawling with dinosaurs. You'll never be able to make it through there. Don't sweat it. I'll take them all out one by one if I have to. Brilliant plan, fearless leader, but I have a better one. These readouts tell me there's an emergency escape hatch in the dock's private quarters. You should be able to make a clean break through there. Are you sure? Yeah, but there's one problem. The hatch is password locked through the mother system. Forget it. If you can't crack the code before the dinosaurs rush in, we'll be completely trapped. I know. You just have to trust me. They don't. Why? What about you, Gina? Make your choice. Yeah. Dr. Kirk, we've come to help. We're representatives from your nation's government. My nation? <laughs> I'm touched. And what do you government agents want with me? Shut up. You're coming with us if I have to knock you out and drag you back myself. Well, according to the government, I'm officially deceased, correct? If that's the way you want it. I'd be more than happy to oblige. So what'll it be, genius? Relax, Agent. 
my study is nearing its final stages. Magnificent, isn't it? But I can't leave before I've analyzed the final results. I don't give spit about your results. I'm taking you back under orders, so shut up and follow me. Regina, locate the communication facility and call in the extraction chain. You can't do this! I have rights! According to command, your government property, pal. I suggest you take it up with them. No! They can't do this to me! They deserted me three years ago and now they want me back? This is preposterous! Shut up. Then shoot me, idiot, you lame, flat-top, jar-headed... Shut up. Where's the communication room? Take the elevator up from the control room. I need a card to access that elevator. I know you've got one. Hand it over, Doc. Oh, fine. So, we're all set then. I'll meet you at the heliport. Hey, wait, where are you going? I have a little unfinished business to take care of. I'll drop this guy off with Rick. Now get moving. Unfinished business? right now. Do something about it. Don't sweat it. I'll release the door. Finally, a signal. Signal's weak. Interference. 
I'll give you the abridged version. Mission complete. Scrub the initial plans and pick us up at the heliport immediately. The heliport. This entire island's a bloodbath. The only survivor not on the team is the doctor. I'll give you the details later. Just get back here and pick us up ASAP. Roger, I'm on my way. Regina, what's your situation? The chopper's on its way here. Great. Don't waste any time. And remember, use the main entrance to get to the heliport. <laughs> Elevator shot. 
We'll have to find another way. Okay, we're here again. Now what? We should be able to get to the underground port from here. Yeah. Then let's do it. Hurry. I'm worried about Gale. Our fearless leader? Fine. Let's move out. This piece of junk must have blown a fuse. What's going on? The power went out. Gale? Are you on floor B3? Yeah. Get the power online now. Gale, it looks like there's a port nearby. There's gotta be a ship we can use. Copy. Leave Kirk to me. You two get the power back online and secure our escape route. Roger. is completely dead. This is all we need to restore the power. I'll work on the security system. You handle our escape route.
Yeah. Well, at least Kirk's running out of places to hide.
Regina, it looks like this door leads to the port. Hmm. It'll take a while before I can pop this open. You copy, Mike? I found the key to the port, but I got a lizard riding on my tail. I'm heading to the main elevator right now. I'll meet it at the ground level. Hurry! Huh. Sounds like we're not the only ones having problems. I'm glad you're amused. But if that guy gets eaten, we're going to have to retrieve the key from that dinosaur's stomach. You've got to save him! Yes! What 
is that? I saw something like this in Kirk's personal lab. This could be a problem. This vortex must be the side effect of the third energy experiment. So how are we supposed to get around this thing? Either we find a way or we both end up as dino droppings. Not funny. Okay, I'll pull up any relevant data on the computer. Regina, you search around for any possible clues or leads.
Rick, I've located the main generator of the third energy. Great. See if you can activate it. Don't move. And what do you think you're doing? Carving a name for myself in history with the ultimate energy source. Open your eyes, you freak. Your precious creation is nothing more than another weapon to be misused. <laughs> you seem to have a small degree of superficial intelligence. It's too bad that it is wasted on one who is about to die. Rick, our target has been secured. Report here immediately. Sorry to interrupt your lecture, Doc. You were saying? Yes, I was saying. I discovered how the third energy could affect space if it ran unchecked three years ago. I thought that the energy had the ability to transfer selective space to an alternate time-space continuum. But I was incorrect. The space was not transferred, it was exchanged. To put it in terms that even you can understand, third energy has the ability to replace a pocket in space with one from a different time. What? Yes. I came to these conclusions following this evening's final experiment. You've seen the effects yourself. Those beasts were occupying the space this facility is located on almost 65 million years ago. Right. So that's how those dinosaurs appeared in our time. Precisely. And that is what I have done. Uh-huh. And how many people were sacrificed before you made this discovery? <laughs> Who cares? The numbers are quite irrelevant. Let's just say that there were many. Extraordinary deaths for ordinary men, don't you think? Spoken like a true devil. A god or a devil? Hmm. I don't care about that. Only my experiment. Enough. Only one thing matters at this point. Your grand invention is blocking our escape. You need to destroy the vortex. <laughs> the only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy levels to overload. Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the vortex will cancel each other out if they come in contact with one another. But there is one small catch. If you cannot stop the generator's third energy overload, this entire region may be shifted to another point in the space-time continuum. 
Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. But we couldn't even activate the device. <laughs> You're missing the initializer and stabilizer, right? Where are they? Calm down. They should be stored in one of the security level A rooms on floor B3. Very good, Doc. Now you understand our situation. We live, you live. Okay, I'm all set to whip up a program that will send a stream of third energy into the vortex. I'll keep an eye on the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices and overload the third energy. Remember, they're in a security level A room on floor B3. Hold up. That whole floor is crawling with dinosaurs, including that T-Rex. Let's get this situation under control before charging off. Here, take this. But this contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. I stumbled over them while searching through the database. Fortunately, the room where the parts are stored is not far from here. We should gather up the parts and assemble the devices. Don't be ridiculous. Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. We don't even know if all the right parts are there. We'd be better off simply trying to hunt down the completed devices. It's too dangerous down there. She won't make it! It's your call then, Regina. You're the one who has to do this. So what's your choice? It's your show, girl. I just hope you know what you're doing. Do whatever you want. Just don't fail.
Transmitter. Gale. Gale. All right. The overload levels are increasing. Just a little more. Looking good. Gale. What happened to him? I don't know, but Kirk's gone. I'm gonna kill him! This is it. All that's left is our escape. Let's go. Wait, what about Kirk? What about it? It's a miracle we're still alive at this point. Forget about it! Don't forget the mission. You're not here to babysit. I'm sorry, but I have a conscience. I'm 
taking you back now. No. You two get going. I'm going after Kirk. What? You're insane! Don't you remember our situation? The third energy can't be controlled anymore. Staying here any longer is suicide! I know. If I'm not back in 30 minutes, you two make your escape without me. Hey! Do something! Yeah. Kirk must be after the stabilizer. Why did you let him go? I'm finally beginning to understand him. He's a professional, first and foremost. It's the only way he operates. You're right. And it's up to me to do my part as well. I'll make sure everything's ready to go as soon as you get back.
You got your man, Gale. Yes, he seems to have made it his mission to make my life miserable. Gale, I found a heliport on the way here. Our escape will be quicker if we use it instead. Fine. Thanks for the disc, Doc. Disc? been secure. 
You have mail. The final report of Operation Dr. Kirk. Agent name, Regina. Dr. Kirk. Status, recaptured. We have recaptured Dr. Kirk, who is currently negotiating future experiments with the military high command. Gail. Status, alive. Gail did survive, but he is seriously injured and is currently recovering at our military medical facility. Rick. Status, alive. Rick is currently analyzing the data that was recovered from Ibis Island. Regina. Status, alive. As for myself, I'm ready to begin my next assignment. Tom. Status, deceased. Tom was attacked and killed by a giant reptile that was inhabiting the island. He will be missed. Cooper. Status unknown. We lost contact with Cooper at the beginning of the mission and have not heard from him since then. Mission complete. Operation Instructions.